Cody, Danny Thompson with the three-point conversion. Great win tonight. How does it feel to finally catch yourself uh, in a good place as you guys go into games with Brooklyn, uh, Indiana, and um, Boston over the next three games? How does it feel to actually get yourself back in the rhythm side? Yeah, it was an important game for us uh, because it's a tough road trip, like you said. Uh, Brooklyn, Indiana back-to-back, -back, Boston coming up. Um, so we, we knew that we had to have this win. So tried to come up with a lot of energy. And uh, I thought uh, I thought T-Row was huge down the stretch once again for us. Uh, a few minutes to go, we, uh, they had kind of worked their way back in the game. And um, he had, uh, I think, three buckets in a row. So um, he was huge for us once again. And that's what he's done for us all year. Let's go to Christos. Hello, Cody. Congratulations on the win. How responsible you felt tonight to make a step up and lead and uh, help your team to take another uh, very important victory? And how important is Gordon Hayward's presence? Yeah, I think uh, you know, especially when I come off the bench, I, I want to bring a lot of energy. Um, and uh, you know, I thought that's what I did tonight. And Gordon's so much fun to play with. He seems to always make the right play. Um, he always counts and play well for us. Uh, you know, he creates so much offense for a guy, not only himself, but for other guys. So, um, he was a huge pickup for force this summer, and he's been with our team all year. Let's go to our Rick and then Will. Hey, Cody, JB told us that um, the other day he met with you and that you said, don't worry about, you know, how many minutes I play. Whatever minutes I get, I will be ready for them. In a situation like what's happened lately, where your minutes have been somewhat sporadic, how, what's it like to make sure that your head is focused for that situation like tonight when all of a sudden you do play a whole lot? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've played in the league long enough to know that, um, you know, throughout stretches of the, of the season, it kind of uh, different guys are going to play well. Um, you know, minutes sometimes are going to be, you know, High one, high one game, high one week, uh, maybe less another week. Um, and you know, JB told me that the team found a good rhythm on the West Coast, and um, you know, it was with me playing less minutes. So, um, but I have, I've been trying to stay in shape, even though I've only played you know 10 or 15 minutes. I'll get extra conditioning in after the game and stuff. So, um, you know, so that I am prepared to play um, one minute. So my my high school coach used to always tell me he said. If, if you want to play one minute, play better. Um, as simple as that. So, uh, you know, it's, it's easy to, to kind of blame it on, you know, this or that. But, um, you know, the first thing you got to do is look at the mirror and say, I have been playing as well. And uh, so, so that's kind of what I, I stay focused on. And uh, hopefully I can continue to play well. When Cliff was here, he used to say that, you know, there, there was that people need a certain amount of minutes in the rotation to stay sharp. How have you overcome, like I said, the you know the fact that you don't entirely know from game to game whether you're going to play twelve or twenty or twenty five? Yeah, it is it is tough. But um, like I said, I, if I if I play less minutes, I try to get some work in even right after the game, uh, some extra conditioning and stuff. So um, you know, luckily it's only been uh, the past couple of weeks that I haven't been playing as many minutes. But um, the toughest thing is just to stay in rhythm. So. Um, so yeah, I thought it was uh, try to stay as, as much of uh, in game shape as I can, even you know, if the minutes aren't there. Thank you. Let's go to Will. Cody, as, as far as just your own game, your defensive play was particularly noticeable tonight in a good way. How much have you worked on that part of your game, especially since uh, being relegated to the bench? Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, our whole team, uh, when, we, when we play well, it's, it's on the defensive end. It starts on the defensive end. So, um, and the, the big guys kind of anchor that. So, uh, you know, Biz is obviously a, a talented shot blocker. So, um, you know, we've been playing well with him on the court. And, um, you know, that's what coach is rolling with. But tonight, um, you know, I tried to make it tough on him defensively like I always do. But, um, yeah, it was uh, – Lopez still got a lot of, a lot of easy buckets on it around the rim. But uh, it's a big body, so I'm trying to make it tough on him. Let's wrap up with a last question for Richard Walker. Uh, Cody, uh, Richard Walker, com. Uh, Terry Rozier keeps amazing us by doing stuff late in the games. I mean – what do you think is in his mindset? Because it seemed like 
even if he doesn't make the shot, he's ready to take the shot, and he's so confident going at it. And when get, things get close, he, he wants the ball. <laughs> you guys kind of run a clear out, and he hits the shots. I mean, how how special is that to see a player with that kind of confidence? Because I know you've been around, like you said, veteran, and it's the kind of things he can be used to do. Yeah, I think you took the word right out of my mouth. His confidence, he's, we have confidence in him, and I know he has a lot of confidence in himself. Um, there's been games this year where uh, he hasn't scored all night, but it comes down to the last few minutes, and uh, he makes a couple big plays, big, big shots. So uh, we have a lot of confidence with the ball in his hands. And, uh, so, yeah, we, uh, we feel confident in him. So he's been a great leader for us all year. All right, thank you, Cody. Thank guys, you guys, that's all we're gonna all we're gonna have time for this evening. So we'll get information about media tomorrow. Thank you.